Today is part two of our more advanced automation and shortcuts. We're gonna do some really cool things today. We're gonna to build an awesome morning shortcut that's gonna have Siri read us our day, tell us all about the weather, our calendar events. Siri's gonna say all this out loud in the morning when we stop our alarm. And then we're also gonna look at how we can run an automation server to gain access to all of the actions within shortcuts for our automations, okay? Now this will also allow us to run fully automatic, time-based automations without requiring any input at all with any of our shortcuts. It's gonna be a good one, guys. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks so much for joining me. For those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel, we're building an easy smart home using HomeKit. Uh, so if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon so you don't miss out when we post new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here. I asked a lot of you guys what you wanna see and this is the kind of stuff y'all wanna see. So this is actually part two of our more advanced automations and shortcuts. Uh, if you missed last week's video, I'll put a link in the description where you can check that one out. But today we're gonna build a really awesome shortcut that is gonna have Siri announce our calendar details, the weather information, it's gonna set home kit scenes, it's gonna do all this stuff automatically when we turn off our morning alarm. Today's date is June 10th, 2020. It currently feels like 90 on this Wednesday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 91 and a low of 72 for the day. The first event on your calendar today is kids doctor appointment at 1 p.m. And next we're gonna utilize an automation server at our house that's gonna allow us to fully automate our shortcuts. So what this does is this is actually gonna allow us to uh, use any of the shortcut actions for our home-based automations. For example, we're gonna set up an automation. You can send a text message when somebody opens the door. You'll be able to do basically anything within shortcuts uh, and use your home automations as the triggers. Now this will also allow us to create fully automatic time-based automations. Okay, so normally with these time-based shortcuts, uh, when the time comes, you get a notification on your phone and you have to click run the shortcut. That kind of sucks, kind of defeats the purpose in my opinion. You know, I've set up a number of these before and I always miss the notifications and my shortcuts don't run when I want them to. So by utilizing this automation server that we're gonna talk about, this will fully automate those time-based automations. So when the time comes, it's gonna run your shortcut automatically requiring no input at all from you. So let's go ahead and jump right in and start building that morning shortcut. So the way I prefer to do this is to set up a shortcut first and then we'll create an automation that says when I turn off my alarm, it will just run the shortcut. Okay, so let's do go to shortcuts, create a new shortcut and let's just jump into it. All right, so we're gonna create new action. We're gonna start with get event. Get upcoming events, we're gonna get one event from all calendars. That'll work for me. Show more, we're gonna choose today. All right, next. We're going to do a count action. Count items in upcoming events. And right, next we're going to do if. If the count we're going to do is greater than zero. So what this is going to do is uh, it'll tell us if we have an event, it'll tell us what the event is. If we don't, it'll say there are no events on your calendar. So if the event is greater than zero, let's look for text. Okay, let's put this under here and say the first event, upcoming events at and then you want to tap this and choose start date. Okay, so that's going to tell us uh, our first event on fix that your calendar today is upcoming events at whatever time. Otherwise, we're going to create another text. Pull this in. Otherwise, there there are no events on your calendar today. All right, that'll go, oop, yep, that goes otherwise. All right, that looks good. Next, we're gonna get our weather and location information. So let's do 
your current weather at current location. That works. Now we're going to do weather get details. So we're going to do get the location from weather conditions. Now we're going to do get details of location. We're going to do get the city from our location. Let's do number. Use number. Tap our magic variable. We got weather conditions. And we are looking for the high. All right. Now we're gonna round this number to the ones place. All right, and, and all this is so we can call this uh, later in our shortcut. We can get all this information read back to us. Next, we're gonna do the same thing for the low. We're gonna do magic variable. We're gonna get weather conditions, and this time we're gonna get our low done, and we're going to round, round that number to the ones place as well. Let's get number one more time. Back up and get weather conditions. And for this one, we're going to do the feels like weather. Round it again as well. Round number to one's place. All right, now moving on, we're going to set our home scene if we are at in our current city. So let's do an if statement. If, I'm gonna clear this. Uh, select magic variable, we're gonna look for um, our city. If our city, contains uh, whatever the name of your city is. Um, set uh, your home scene. So control your home. And I have a good morning scene that I want to come on if I'm home. Bring it up there, otherwise it won't do nothing. All right, now we are going to have all this read back to us. Here's the fun part. So we're gonna do speak text. I'm gonna say speak. Let's just go ahead and clear this. We're gonna say good morning. Current date. You can choose the date format. Keep it at medium, time format none, done. All right. It currently, let's get that round, let's get that feels like number, which is right here. Currently feels like blank on this, get our current day again, date format, custom, e -e -e -e. all right, done. get our city again. Okay, all right, let's test this and see how it works so far. Make sure we don't have any errors. Good morning. Today's date is June 5th, 2020. It currently feels like 93.19999999999955 on this Friday in Lexington. Okay, so most of that worked, but our feels like did not round, right? So let's see. Uh, 
feels like I think we got the wrong one here, so let's remove that and try this again. Let's get that rounded number this time. So we got the feels like number instead of the rounded number. So now let's try the rounded number. All right, let's see if that's better. Good morning. Today's date is June 5th. 2020 it currently feels like 93 on this Friday in Lexington all right sounds good so moving on let's keep adding to this you can expect all right now we need to get that rounded number for the high we'll make sure we get the high rounded number all right and I'll go up and get that low rounded number for the day and you can see in that previous example why we uh we got around these numbers and now we'll do magic variable again and we can get this if result right here and all we gotta do is tap that and it'll get the result of that okay she's done and now we want to add our text up here so we want to get the events on our calendar we'll just do if result for that as well and that should work let's see how this plays back good morning today's date is june 5th 2020 it currently feels like 93 on this friday in lexington you can expect a high of 90 and a low of 70 for the day the first event on your calendar today is road to war video of june 5th 2020 at 1 30 p.m all right all right, so that worked pretty good, but I do want to fix that calendar. Um, your first event on your calendar today is that at, we want to do date format, none, and change this, and time format, it should just be, uh, it should just tell us the time. All right, great. Now we can go a little bit further. Let's see, you can of course change the pitch and the voice here. Let's see, if we tap this and I can show reveal action, that is, let's tap this one, reveal action. So that's this, I actually don't need this in here. So I can remove this one. Let's remove this. All right. And then reveal, so that's this one. So I do want that in there, okay. Now, this seems to be working good, so let's go ahead and I wanna actually move this down after that. Okay, and the reason why I'm gonna put some more stuff in here. So, what we're gonna do is, uh, if we're in our town, it's gonna run our morning scene. And let's actually do, um, let's, let's do choose from menu. All right, and I'm gonna put this in here. So if we're home, it's gonna ask us Would you like to listen to some music? And we can say yes, or we can say no. If we say yes, Let's do home, control Watley home. I'm gonna put that in here underneath the yes. And I'm gonna select my home pod. So let's say we have a home pod close by. And we can choose, you know, the audio levels and all that stuff. And we can choose, you know, and we can choose anything. Let's choose my radio station here. All right, and you can set, change your settings there if you want, choose done, okay. So now it's gonna ask us, you can say, would you like to listen to music, yes or no? We can say 
yes and it will play music. We can say no and it won't do anything. Now, let's say speak. Let's do another speak action. Remove that, say have a great day. All right, so it's gonna run that at the end. All right, so if we are in our city, if we're home, it's gonna set our morning scene, it's gonna ask if we wanna to listen to music. Uh, if we say yes, then it will play music on the HomePod. If we say no, it will not. Um, and otherwise, it's not gonna do anything if we're not home. And regardless, afterwards, it's gonna say, have a great day, let's test this out. Today's date is June 5th, 2020. It currently feels like 95 on this Friday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 90 and a low of 70 for the day. The first event on your calendar today is Road to War video at 1.30 p.m. Would you like to listen to some music? No. Have a great day. Okay, so... Um... This would play that out loud if you ran this on a HomePod, but since we're not, it's not going to play it out loud. So let's change this to, uh, we'll keep the actions because we're still going to use that. But let's say, let's do a speak and say, question mark, done. Let's put this up here. Whoop right here we're gonna do another action dictate so dictate text what this does is transcribes what you say out loud into text and passes the result okay so that's what we want so it's gonna be listen for our answer right here and show more now we're gonna do um, if put it right here automatically grab that dictated text so we'll say if dictated text is yes then it's gonna play that otherwise it will not now let's try this again good morning today's date is june 5th 2020 it currently feels like 95 on this Friday in Lexington. You can expect a high of 90 and a low of 70 for the day. The first event on your calendar today is Road to War video at 1.30 p.m. Would you to some music? Yes. Have a great day. All right, there we go. And it started playing music on my HomePod. You can't hear it right now, but um, okay. And there was a little typo here. Would you do some music? All right, and there we go. Next, we'll name this um, Okay, and now our shortcut is created. Now let's do that automation. Go to your automation tab, create new personal automation, alarm. Uh, we're gonna do alarm is stop. You can choose any or whichever one existing alarms you can choose. I'm gonna choose my wake up alarm. Choose next. We're gonna look for run shortcut. We're gonna do run shortcut. Now you can choose which one. We are looking for that wake up, wakes up with Siri. Show more input. Show while running, no, nope, leave that. Choose next. We're gonna choose turn off, ask before running, don't ask. And now as soon as we stop our alarm, it's gonna run this shortcut right here on our phone. Siri's gonna start talking to us. We can play music, get our events for the day and all that good stuff, and we're done. All right, and there you go. That morning shortcut works well. It's a really cool one. You can take this, change it up, use it however you want. Um, I'll actually put a link down below where you can download this. You'll probably have to change some things, make it fit to you, but I hope that gave you some good ideas. Next, we're gonna talk about that automation server. A big issue that a lot of us have faced with shortcuts is that when you're creating these home automations, you only have access to a very limited number of 
the actions. For example, you can't use a whole lot of the other actions that you normally would want to use in your regular shortcuts, such as uh, send a text message. You can't send a text message, you know, if the front door is open. You know, another example is somebody asked me how you can show your uh, HomeKit cameras on your Apple TV if somebody opens the front door or if there's motion on the front porch. That's not something you can do. With running an automation server, you can do that. Another example is those time-based automations, you know, just for any shortcut. Uh, you maybe want, you know, a shortcut to run every day at noon and every day at noon you get a notification on your phone that makes you tap that notification in order for it to run well maybe you don't want to tap that notification you just need it to run because you know i've set these up before and i miss them all the time and they don't run when i want them to using an automation server like this you can have these shortcuts run automatically without doing anything and they just work so what we're going to need is an app called push cuts all right if you haven't heard of push cuts you can do a lot with it i haven't really even dove into all the stuff you can do with it but today we're just going to use the automation server feature of push cuts this is part of the pro version so you have to get that it doesn't cost a lot it's only you know i think a couple bucks maybe a month but if this is something you're going to be using it's well worth it you're also going to need a dedicated ios device at your house running all the time okay so the automation server is going to run on this ios device all the time so this can be an old ipad i actually have an old iphone 7 that i'll be using uh, it's just, you know, it was sitting in a drawer and you, what you have to do is you have to open up push cuts on this iOS device. You have to run the automation server and it just has to stay running in the foreground all the time. So plug it up to an outlet or whatever to make sure it's charged and always running. Here I've got my old iPhone 7. If we open the push cuts app, you're going to see here we have what's called an automation server. Okay. Right now it's not running. We're going to get back to this in a second. First, I'm going to create just a shortcut on this on this phone that's going to text somebody. So I actually have this one set up with a different Apple ID, one that I actually use for my iPad, my wall mounted iPad I talked about last week. You can set up your automation server phone or device with your Apple ID or whatever. It shouldn't matter. Um, but I'm going to go into my shortcuts and I'm going to create a new shortcut and we're going to say text we're looking for an SMS message. We're going to send a message. Uh, send the message to, and you can choose from your contacts. I'm going to look for myself. Okay, choose done. And we're going to say your alarm has been triggered. And let's do some alarm emojis. All right, there we go. Done. There we go. That's all we're going to do here just to show you the process. So this is going to send an alarm. Normally you cannot send a text message from a home kit automation. We're going to do it. So I'm going to choose next. We're going to call this, um, alarm. Okay. Choose done. I don't, I'm not going to worry about the rest of that. Okay. Now that we have that shortcut set, let's go into our push cuts app and go to their automation server. And right here, you can start the server, and right here, you'll see server actions. Tap on this. You need to import your shortcuts, so they'll show up here. Now, I'm not gonna go into detail there, but basically, there is a shortcut that you will install. Um, I'll show you real quick. You need to install a shortcut here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. There you go, export for push cuts, so that's got to be in here, okay? And there's documentation on their website that shows you how to do all that. Um, but once that's installed, then you can go here and you can import or as in my case, update shortcuts and it'll run through that. And now all my new shortcuts will be in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna look for that alarm message and I can copy the URL. Now that I have that copied, I can go over here. Let's go into our home app. We're going to go under automation, new automation. Let's do a sensor detect some, nope. Let's go to an accessory is controlled my uh, studio security system right here. We'll say when this is triggered, you're gonna scroll all the way down, convert to shortcut. I'm gonna close this one. We're gonna get URL, paste, and then we're going to uh, 
Um, get content to URL, show more, get, all that looks good. Next, and that's all we got to do there. So when the security system triggers, it's going to hit that, um, that automation server that we set up and run the shortcut and I will get the notification on my phone. Let's choose done. Okay, and so there we go. Then we're gonna obviously want to go over here to my push cuts. You're gonna make sure that uh, server is running all the time and uh, plug it into an outlet. You know, use a smart plug for charging if you want to, but this has to say open and in the foreground all the time for, this, for these to work. Uh, to just to show you a little bit, let's show you how this works. Um, it's, I'm going to do a new automation, and instead of doing a sensor or something, again, you can use your front door, whatever. I have an Acora button here, okay? So this will just show you this working. Again, you can do when a sensor detects something, you know, your front door opens, you can get that notification. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'm going to go in to my rooms, and I'm going to look for that wireless um, button okay so this is just a home kit button all right and single press and of course you can have it control any of your home kit lights or whatever but here I'm gonna do convert to shortcut now normally if I would go to actions you don't have you know messages or anything like that that you can do here but with this automation server you can take advantage of anything in uh, shortcuts so for this I'm gonna do the same thing look for that URL all right, I'm going to paste my URL, and then I'm gonna get the contents of the URL, okay, and everything looks good. Now I can test it here, and it's not gonna work because I don't have my automation server up and running, so we're gonna get an error. So I'll just stop that, let's go ahead and go next. All right, so when I tap this button, as long as my automation server is running on this iOS device, it's gonna work. All right, now let's open up push cuts and make sure my automation server is running. It is running now, the moment of truth. If I push this button, it should trigger that shortcut here and send me a message. You can see it ran the shortcut here and there. You can see uh, I did some tests earlier, but I received that test text message from my it came from this phone again it, you can set this up with your own apple id any other apple id if you want and i got that text message right there saying your alarm has been triggered so using this method you can set up sensors any of your home accessories or whatever to run any kind of shortcut even the stuff you normally don't have access to with home automations now if i stop server i want to show you real quick another thing that you can do if you go to schedule and uh, let's just say, you know, pick a time, whatever, 3.55 p.m., choose your days of the week or whatever. You can do intervals, you know, every 15, I mean, some pretty powerful stuff here in the schedule, okay? You choose your action, and then here's all of our shortcuts, okay? So you can fully automate your shortcuts based on time without requiring any input like you usually do. So, you know, I can choose any of my shortcuts to run on a schedule uh, and you know and here's everything on a schedule as long as my server is running on here it's gonna run automatically I'm not gonna have to worry about tapping my notifications on my main phone it's just gonna run from my automation server we discussed a lot today uh, we definitely got a little more advanced than we normally do but I hope you enjoyed this if you missed out on part one again I'll put a link down in the description below where you can check out some of the stuff we did there we did some cool stuff utilizing CarPlay and Homebridge uh, so check out that video if you missed it if you got something out of this please give it a big thumbs up that does help out the channel and it helps other people find these videos if you're into HomeKit and you haven't subscribed yet please do so we're dropping new HomeKit videos every Sunday right here on this channel thank you guys so much for watching and until next week we'll see y'all later